Šie metu atėjo daugiau mergaičių negu praėjusius metais, galbūt praėjo nebuvo tokie sėkmingi, bet atėjo apie tūkstantis mergaičių iš visos Lietuvos ir mes važiavome į 27 miestus, į didesnius, mažesnius ir pakvietame į finalą 75 mergaitės. O kokiais kriterijais vadovavotis Jūs? Ar tai yra standartiniai kriterijai? Ar, na, kaip pristatot tarptautiniam jau tokiam rinkai, galbūt jie kažkuos skiris? Kiekvienais metais tie kriterijai šiek tiek keičiasi ir dabar yra tokia tendencija, kad reikalingos vis aukštesnės merginas. Aišku, yra išmatavimai reikalingi, bet mes žiūrim, kadangi labai jaunos, jos dar auga keičiasi ir jeigu kartais išmatavimai nėra tinkami, atrodo pilnesnė mergaitė, tai ten būna vis tiek toks amžius perauginimas. Ir jeigu labai mums patinka, gražiai mes laukiam, pasijimam ir po to po metu po kelių, jinai pasikeičia ir tada mes viečiam dar kartą. Klubus dažniausiai žiūri, kad nebūtų daugiau 90, jeigu mergina nori dalyvauti iš šau, tai jau reikia ir ūgio, atitinkamai nuo 1,77-1,78, jeigu esi tokio ūgio, tai tikrai gali daryti visų šau. Seniau prieš kokius penkis metus buvo galima šau daryti ir su 1,74-1,75, dabar tai yra sunkiau. Kiek merginų pasisaka vis dėl to apsirašyti galų galę kontraktą arba išvažiuoti dirbti užsienį? Koficentas, tai tarkim, galbūt pusę merginų, sakyčiau, pusę merginų, nebūtinai jas pasirenka agentūros šį kartą, bet jeigu mes matom perspektyvą, galbūt mes pasiemam jas savo ir tada dar Lietuvoje dirbam su žurnalais, pamokom vaikščioti, padarom fototestus ir būna taip, kad kitais metais jos gali bandyti dar kartą ir tada jau pasirenka ir agentūros. It's not the first time I am in Lithuania, I can come here, I work a lot with Lithuanian girls, this is, let's say, a country which gives a lot of girls to the business, so the impression is always good. I come here twice a year, usually. Even in being a small country, it's a country where there are some features on the girls' physical which allow them to work in this industry. You can find girls who are blonde, brunette, uh, with uh, blue eyes, green eyes, so there is a lot of uh, uh, different uh, um, characters. To be, uh, the girls are tall, mm -hmm. something which is uh, needed to do this job. Uh, let's say that uh, the models, but it must be, it's not just beauty, as always, this is something that everybody could tell you, and uh, it's, uh, of course, uh, <laughs> the, the, the first step, let's say. Yeah. Then the girls, they can be also uh, special, let's say, a special beauty, you know, which is uh, something important for magazines, because if you then you, uh, you uh, see fashion magazine, you will see that the girls are also uh, very special looking, some of them. It's like a bit like in the sports, no? you know, like in basketball that you are very good at. So, you know, uh, the girls must be tall. Eh? Uh, this is uh, mostly for the shows. But um, this doesn't mean that the girl who is 173 cannot have a career because uh, there are a lot of other kind of jobs uh, which are uh, uh, beauty or cosmetics uh, for which it's not really important to be told. Every agency has a personal um, way to discover girls. I mean, I personally like the, the beautiful girls in general. I don't like very strange kind of face. Uh, I mean, I like uh, 80s. <laughs> the, I think that when a girl is beautiful, objectively beautiful, she will work. And if she has the, uh, if she's lucky, she has a good agents, good people behind her, she can uh, arrive. Personally, I don't like the uh, strange face. The, usually, used to see, to see these girls uh, maybe beautiful, but not objective beautiful. You know, I like uh, big eyes. I like uh, long hair, and. Uh, the thing I'm looking for in the girls, uh, also the, the beauty, is also the energies. Maybe you can state the uh, difference between a uh, model for uh, shows and model for photo shooting. I have to speak about my uh, personal point of view, it is the same point of view of my company. Uh, there is no difference between a girl from uh, shows. I mean, we are looking for girls that can do everything. 